Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, Helder Leon, and right now I'm gonna take you through what's in my music producer travel tech bag for 2018. So without further ado, let's get started. The type of bag I'm using is a 30 liter North Face bag. I mean, I just got it because it looked pretty badass. It was black, it said Recon on it, had a bunch of pockets. It's pretty much a no-brainer. The first thing that I carry in my backpack is my laptop. As without saying, this is probably the most essential part of any portable studio or any person in 2018's life. So that'd be the first thing. Next thing I carry is a charger for said MacBook because you're not doing anything if you don't have a charge. Next up would be my cord micro keyboard. Pretty simple, pretty basic. I chose to go with this instead of my MPC Studio Black, mostly because my MPC Studio Black didn't fit with the current amount of tech gear that I have inside, but honestly, you could get a lot done with this. I recently broke my big keyboard, so this is actually what I've been doing all my production with anyway, and it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty small, compact. Plug and play. Next up would be my reference studio headphones. A little beat up. They're the Audio Technica MTH50s. These bad boys have been with me through Hell and Back, and they're just really good over oh, rear head headphones. They don't give you quite as good of a mix as your traditional studio monitors, but when you're on the road, they provide a relatively good mix that you can take to your studio and mix down properly and get the job done. Just keep in mind that I do change up the gear that I bring on vacation, pretty much every vacation. It's just an experimentation of different combinations of equipment that work best with the situation and what my goal of that trip is to achieve. And in this case, it was to record vocals, which brings me into my next piece of gear. Universal Apollo Twin Duo. The centerpiece of my studio, it, it really puts everything together. It's probably the best interface I've ever used. In previous trips, I have done the Fuji Duet in combination with the MPC Studio Black and no microphones. And that worked really well for me in my beat production game. But on this trip, I wanted to get some vocals down, so I, I had to go with the Apollo. That's it for the main compartment. Took up pretty much all of that space. The second pocket, which is where I hid a couple other goodies. This is actually normally where I would keep the MPC Studio Black in this pocket, in the second pocket, because it has main pocket, second pocket, but the Apollo Twin was just too fat in this box. It was just so thick that I, I couldn't fit it, so. Keyboard it is. And here I have the mic stand, which goes in combination with my microphone. Microphone choice, Audio Technica for the road. Great microphone. I love this thing. Put it in, hang, I'm ready to go. Uh, I also have a GorillaPod adapter that I'm using but the grill pod is being used to film this video while I hang it off a chair. So I can't really show that, but that's how I'm gonna be recording vocals. I'm just gonna put it on my Gorilla Pod. I have a pop filter and I'm just gonna record vocals like that. I would not be anywhere if I did not have a portable charger. Portable charger is a must on any vacation, any trip. You know, sometimes your phone's running low on battery. Get some juice on the go. We're good. In this secondary compartment I have, it has a, another space here. I'm carrying my two drives. I have the Lacey 100 gigabyte SSD Thunderbolt, rugged edition. This thing is very, very good for the road. You pretty much throw it against a brick wall. This thing is not gonna break on you. It's super durable, super fast. It's uh, probably my favorite drive that I have. 
I also brought with me the Western Digital 2 terabyte Passport Edition. This thing's getting kind of dated, but it's USB 3.0, not quite as fast as your Lacey Thunderbolt, but this thing's definitely fast enough. And I do most of my video editing on this on an external, so I don't have to take up the space on my main MacBook. To be honest, I actually kept this in another bag I had. I have, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it, my bait cross bag. I kept it in there during the flight because I was a little scared of keeping it in my backpack. Now we're talking headphones. Uh, I know I have my overhead headphones, but these Apple AirPods are a must have. I recently got into the AirPod community probably a month ago. <laughs> Kind of late on the train, but these things are just super, super dope. They sync with your phone, so when you open it, it tells you what the battery is like. Sometimes, when it's in a good mood. Yeah, it tells you what the battery is. I'm at 100% and 90%, so I should, put, should probably charge these up. But I use them for the gym all the time, and especially like getting on the plane, you know, walking around. Super low key, no one can really tell that you're wearing headphones. This little case charges the AirPods, and you know, just double tap and you're playing your favorite song. I have a padlock in case someone tries to steal my stuff. And I always keep a Ricola because anyone that knows me knows that I love these things. Even when I'm not sick, I just love to munch them down. I always keep one in my bag. I have it right now. Keeps the voice nice and silky smooth. Gives you that healthy Leon flavor. And that's pretty much it for my travel bag. This is all my equipment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Literally as soon as I finished that video, I was uh, setting my stuff up just to do like a little quick beat or whatever. When I opened the DAW, I saw that they were asking for my eye lock, which I also carry in my bag. And instead of filming a whole new video and wasting another 10, 15 minutes of my life, I figured that I would just take the L <laughs> and just show you guys where I keep it. I keep it in this little pocket here. I have this little string thing that's attached to the bag and I always, always carry this with me. Uh, anyone that actually buys their plugins knows that this is probably the most low-key essential thing that you need for a home studio. This little thing right here, super annoying, as many producers know, is your best friend and worst nightmare. Keeps pretty much almost all of my plugins minus Waves, which I have to use Wave Central, which is but that's a whole nother thing. I just do the online. I used to keep it on a USB, but one of my USBs died and then I had to go through disk utility, save the drive, move it back online. And now what I'm doing between my iMac and my MacBook Pro when I'm portable is I just keep it online. And as soon as I hit Wi-Fi, I just put it onto the current computer I'm using. When I'm done with it, I just put it back on the web and then just go back and forth like that. Because keeping it on a USB is like playing with fire because if you lose it or break it you're pretty much done same with this bad boy which is why i keep it on this string i don't even trust putting it in a pocket or anything it's literally just attached to the bag i'm gonna get back to doing my thing make a couple beats and i'll see you in the next one easy Follow, add on the